Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you a move uh, that I developed called the display screen. Now this move is sort of a variation on the old move that we all uh, sometimes use called the display pass. Now, if you don't know what the display pass is, I've actually taught it recently on my channel, which I'll leave a link down below or right here or right here, somewhere where you can uh, watch that video. So the display screen control is in my new book, Sharps and Swindles. And first of all, I just wanna say thank you uh, to all the people who has ordered it. And if you haven't ordered it, I would probably go ahead and do that because it's a, it's a pretty good book. I'll leave another link somewhere or down below in the description or the first comment where you can pick that book up if you so desire. Let's get into it. All right, so this is what display screen looks like. So you would just have a card selected in any manner you'd wish. Somebody can just say stop. They take a look at their card, it doesn't matter. Uh, and they it just gets lost back somewhere in the middle. Now this is really good because you hold no breaks and the card really could be anywhere. You can't really know for sure uh, where it is at this point, uh, except for that's in the middle. But there's no way you could know uh, what it is or any way you could control it without holding breaks or anything like that. But the truth is, I've already controlled it because it's right here on top of the deck. So as far as a natural card control goes, um, this one certainly fits the bill, at least in my opinion. And that's sort of the whole goal of my book, Sharps and Swindles, is to, is to create, you know, natural card magic that seems totally impossible. All right, so here's what's happening in the display screen control. So you want to have your key card on the bottom of the deck, and uh, like all things in Sharps and Swindles, this is a edge mark and pencil dot combo. And so if you <laughs> never heard of that or you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch any of my recent videos or just pick up a copy of Sharps and Swindles and or just research a pencil dot and an edge mark and you'll, you'll be on board. I find it uh, redundant to explain to you and show you what a pencil dot and edge mark combo is every time I do one of these. So uh, as soon as you have that, put it on the bottom of the deck. So basically, you'll just uh, have a card chosen and replaced uh, utilizing the key card principle. So basically, all that is is you know somebody picks a card, it's on here, that's their card, and then the other half goes on top, putting the key card on top of their card. Uh, so here's a nice way you can do that. Uh, that looks very natural and very fair. Just start throwing down cards, you know, bunches at a time like this, and ask them to say stop. And they'll usually say stop around half the deck, just as long as you take bunches of cards, you know, five, seven cards at a time. Ask them to say stop. They do maybe right here. Ask them if they want this card or this card. It doesn't matter. If they want this one, show it to them like this. Put it on there. If they want this one, just show it to them like this. Either way, uh, this half that you're still holding goes on top of there like this uh, in a sloppy manner. All right, so now you just square those up. Now, at this point, the key card is on top of their selection and you pick it up and this is where it's a variation on the display pass. So normally you would have a break above the selection and you know the display pass goes like this uh, in a passing manner you go it could be here could be here could be here but in that display pass uh motion you control to the top of the deck so the display screen mimics that but in a spread so you had your key card on top of your selection somewhere in the middle of the deck and by way of demonstration um well, so I, I couldn't know where it is, and then you'll spread down to when you see your pencil dot like this, and you'll take everything uh, above it and including it into your hand like this. So you start to spread over a few cards, and then a few more in a gesturing motion, saying, like, I don't know where your card is. All I know that is somewhere in the middle, and you've just taken away the key card plus everything above it. Now at this point, you're going to raise up, and it's going to seem as though you uh, keep doing that, pushing over cards uh, like this, right? Uh, but you don't. In fact, what you do is sort of a spread in the hand. It's not a spread pass. It's just putting cards on top of the other cards in a spread. Here's what I mean. So you're going through, going through. It could be anywhere. I don't know where it is. And you, here you stop at your key card. And when you come up to show like this, you just push over a few cards because that's their card right there. And so if you push over a few cards as you come up like this, just put these on top of there as you do it. All right. So that's already on top of there. But keep doing that as could be anywhere like this and just gesture like this. And at that point, it's already on top. So I'll go through that one more time. 
So remember you have your key card on top of your selection, which is pencil dotted. I'll leave it face up this time. All right, so you're going through like this. I don't know where your card is, could be anywhere. And then you, as you do that, you take away all the cards like this, could be anywhere. And uh, at that point, it's already on top uh, once again. Once again, broken down, fully exposed. So I don't know where your card is. Could be anywhere. Blah blah blah. As you come up to sh as you come up to, to a vertical position, you just go. Could be anywhere uh, in this deck. And then that's sort of just a self-working uh, display spread pass that I call display screen. And uh, you can fool a lot of people with it because it doesn't look like you're doing anything. It just looks like you're showing them cards and saying that you don't know where it is, but that's the whole ruse of controlling it. And I, I love it when things like that happen uh, naturally. So uh, practice that and there's a lot of things you can do with it and I uh, hope you like it. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. It truly does mean the world to me. And so if you learned something new and if you got value from this video, do me the hugest of favors and hit that like button and sub to the channel. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.